Did your parents also tell you to sit straight and not slouch? Did you always hear your elders tell you, stand tall and be proud? Well, if you experience this, then it's probably because your elders wanted you to have good posture. I will tell you more about how Pilates can actually improve your posture in today's session. Welcome everyone to Activate with Pilates, a two-week flow with me, Akriti. This is session five and we will focus on our back health and posture in this session. So let's get our back right into it. Great. All right. So we're going to be standing in the middle of the mat today. Bring your feet together. You remember your alignment. We've been doing this for the past four sessions. Toes out. Heels behind the toes. Relax the shoulders. Roll those shoulders up. Inhale. Exhale. Drop it all the way down. Two more. Exhale. Focus on those shoulders, not on the chest. Okay. Can we reverse this now for three? We're loosening up your upper back, two, it's all attached, right? We know that. And last one, exhale, bring your arms above the head as you inhale, send them all the way behind as you exhale. Let's go, inhale, don't focus on the chest, make sure you're focusing on your shoulders, your arms rotating. And can we reverse this now for three, exhale, beautiful, two, Nicely done. Last one. I hope you're not locking your knees, right? Bring your hands above the head. Inhale. Bring them. So turn the palms to face outwards. Push the air down by the side of the body. Build that resistance. Turn the palm up. And we're going to go all the way up. Exhale. Push it all the way down. Fantastic. One more. Inhale. And now as you exhale, you're going to come down halfway. Stay right there. Turn the palms to face behind. As you exhale, bring your chin towards your chest and give a big bear or a big beach ball a nice hug. So I'll turn sideways so you can see. Inhale to open it up, pushing your chest slightly forward. Turn the palms around. Exhale. Don't send your hips back. Inhale to open. One more time, exhale, fantastic. Inhale to open it up, hold it right there. Drop your right palm down the right leg and let's reach out with the left arm. Fantastic, we're reaching out. Don't again send your hips out, just focus on the upper back. Inhale, exhale to the other side, beautiful. Reach, reach, reach. And bring your hands above the head as you inhale. Chin towards your chest. Exhale. Let's roll it down. Don't move your body weight back. Try to keep it as centered as possible. So the weight should be in the middle of your feet rather than on your heels. Relax the body. Look in between your knees to whatever is behind you. Inhaling over here. Exhale. Push down with both heels and roll up. Stacking your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Let's roll those shoulders back and drop it all the way down. Can we do this two more times now? Inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, chin towards your chest. Continue to roll down. Letting your upper body loose. Don't hold it tight. Hug your elbows and I want you to gently sway from left to right. If your upper body is moving in one direction, your hips are moving in the other. Take it slow. Please keep your eyes open and focus on breathing. Inhaling in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. You should instantly start feeling a lot of relief in your lower back and your glutes, especially your hamstrings. Okay, release your hands here. Inhale, hold on to your left ankle with the right hand. You can hold on to your shin or your knee if it doesn't reach. Open up the left hand towards the ceiling. Again, don't send your hips to the other side. Just focus on opening. Don't drop the arm back either for three and two. Last one. Gently drop and can we switch to the other side? Opening it up. Good. Three. Last two. Open the chest up a little bit more. One. Gently drop. Inhaling here. Release your hands. Exhale. Roll yourself back up, stacking your spine, one vertebrae at a time. 
good. Let's roll those shoulders back and drop it all the way down. Fantastic. Let's move towards the end of the mat now. All right. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a sequence to open up the body and definitely bring some spice into it. Hands above the head. You're going to give me a roll down. Make sure your legs are at hip width distance. All right. We're rolling down. Place your palms on the mat, even if it means you need to bend your knees. Now from here, walk yourself into a high plank position in three or four steps only. Keep your core engaged. Let's hold this for three and two. Last one. Now I want you to bring your right foot to the outside of the right palm. If this is too difficult for you, please drop your knee and then lift your leg and bring it here. Okay. Open up your right hand towards the ceiling so you're really feeling that twist. Exhale, take it underneath your left. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Doing good. Exhale. Fantastic. Place your palm down. So again, if you're finding it difficult, you can go ahead and keep your knee down. Else lift your knee up. Send it back. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, you can keep your right knee up. Lock it. Make sure it's nice and straight. Open up your left hand. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Very nice. Last one. Exhale. Very good. Place your palm down. Send the left leg back into your high plank. Walk your hands back towards your toes roll yourself up okay now once you do that you're going to give me one squat do you remember our squat basics hips back butt down exhale come up and squeeze those glutes all right let's go we're doing the same thing two more times here we go inhale you can pick up the pace here high plank right foot to the outside three thread the needle exhale two more good you got this at your own pace you can modify as you feel okay last one place the palm down right leg back left leg forward here we go exhale well done exhale place your palm down left leg back walk your hands back and roll up one more squat. Let's go. Right back into our last round. Now, if you haven't done the other sessions, I would highly encourage you to do so. Okay. Open. Exhale. It's going to really bring about an understanding about Pilates, your breath, how to work your alignment. Palm down. Switch to the other side. Let's go. Really feel the upper back open up at this point. Don't hold back, okay? Last one. Place your palm down. Send the legs back. Walk yourself back into your high plank position, into your roll up. One last squat. Inhale. Exhale. Fantastic. Okay, now we're going to move right into it, okay? So, ideally, I'd like for you to stand right here, but because I want you all to see the movements, I'm going to come to the middle of the mat. How are we feeling? Body's warmed up. As you can tell, I'm also feeling a little out of breath, which is fine. My heart rate's nice and high. Okay, here we go. Now, from here, I want you to bring your hands behind your head, okay? So, you don't have to hold on to them. Just simply place it. Relax those shoulders. You're already at your hip width distance. Hips back, butt down into a nice mini squat, right? So I'm not going all the way. Here's how the side profile is, pushing it down. Okay, now from here, step out to the right. Now from here, left elbow is going to bring to the right knee and you're meeting at the waist like so. Hold it there, only my toes are tapping. Lift your right leg up. Okay, then you will step it back to your hip distance, then switch to the other side. Step it back in. Okay, so you get the drill. Now we're going to continue doing that together as we move on after that. Okay, here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go. Hips back, butt down. Mini squat. Step out. Exhale. Cross crunch. 
leg lift bring it in step out lift bring it in good very nice now from here come back in stand up right there okay now the balance ones i want us to finish four on one side before we finish four on the other side can we do that together i think we can all right here we go hands above the head exhale hips back butt down mini squat here we go four bring it in three good two last one bring it in let's go right into it good very nice last one come back up stand up tall take a moment drop your arms down exhale now we're switching right into our next movement which requires us to stand in the same exact way okay hands come behind inhaling here you're going to kick your right leg up as we did okay now the addition is that you kick it up cross it behind then you're going to back bend and crunch for me okay so i'm going to show it to you on the side as to how that looks so we're here okay so we're really working our core in different dimensions here we go finish on one side and then we move to the other hands behind here we go and exhale you don't have to kick too high where you're losing balance okay good now how is this helping with posture well you're opening up your body aren't you good and 8 two more 9 last one switch right to the other side here we go two Three. Doing great, guys. Four. Five. Just five more. Let's go. Six. Working those obliques. Opening up your inner thighs. Eight. Are you crossing it behind? If you need support, you can always take it. Last one. And come back to the center and release your arms. exhale now before we move on i want to ask you what do you think poor posture entails right poor posture can actually be caused by a variety of things but the most common cause is slouching this is you've seen people slouching or even hunching and it could be because of different things right whether you're in front of your computer and you're working like that you're guilty of it aren't you or your phone something called tech neck always bring everything up roll those shoulders back drop it all the way down like i've been saying since the session 1 okay so we'll get together we'll do it it's going to be great you're going to love having good posture here we go bring your hands above the head inhale exhale roll down place your palms down high plank position in three or four steps hold for 10 9 8 Seven. Come on, let's go. Six. Don't drop. Lock your knees. Squeeze your glutes. Five. Four. Stay strong. Three. You got this. Two. Stay. Okay. One. Only walk your knees underneath your hips. Hold this for another ten. Nine. Eight. You're doing so good. Seven. Six. Five. Four. We're not dropping. Okay. Three. Stay strong. Two. Okay. One. Now stay right there. you're twisting to the right twisting to the left 10 9 8 drop 7 you got this 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 back to the center drop your knees down and take a moment exhale 
Very nice. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, we're doing good, guys. We've got good momentum. Exhale. We can always take breaks. That's the beauty of Pilates, right? All right. Now, from here, I'm going to give you the full version and I'm going to give you a modification, okay? We're in our high plank position. Tap your opposite shoulder. Lift. Back down. Tap. Lift. Down. That's the full version. Your modification would be dropping your knees. Untuck your toes. Tap. Lift. Down. Tap. Lift. Down. Now, the reason why I'm saying modification, it doesn't mean that you're doing it any less, more effective than the others. Okay, it's just listening to your body. Do what feels right. Okay, focus on not shifting your body weight from one side to the other. Try to keep your hips to be parallel to the mat. Shall we do this together? Let's go. I'm going to do both versions, so don't worry. Here we go. Exhale. Very nice. Three. Four. Five, you're doing great, let's go. Six. Okay, just six more, I'm gonna show you the modification. Seven. Eight. Nine, beautiful. 10, challenge yourself, let's go. 11. Last one, 12. Hold it there for five. You got this. Four, if your knees are down, lift up. Three. Come on, come on, come on, two. And one. Gently drop your knees down. Go all the way down to the floor. And breathe. You did so good. Fantastic. Okay. Now from here, guys, we're going to be doing a lot of work on our postural muscles. That's your upper back, middle back. What helps you not slouch, not hunch, feel better, stronger and taller. Yes? Okay. Now from here, stack your palms one on top of the other. Legs can be at a comfortable distance. They don't have to be at hip width neutral. You can get them a little wider, no problem. Forehead on your stacked palms. Exhale. Now, push your legs down. Anchor your feet down. Do not lift them up just yet, okay? Inhale, your forehead and your stacked palms are one. Lift your forehead, chin, chest and elbows off the mat exhale to drop control the descent don't just collapse all right here we go back extension lift inhale exhale three up notice how automatically your glutes start to get activated as well such an important part of the core right four We'll talk about that in another session. What does it mean to engage your core? Five. Six. Lift up. You got this. Down. Seven. How are we doing? Are we doing good? Feeling strong? Eight. If you have a sensitive back, you don't have to lift as high. Two more, everybody. Nine, and lift, push those legs down. Last one, 10, and lift, hold it right there for three, two, and one. Gently drop down. Fantastic, how are we feeling? Now, bring your heels together. So you're lifting your knees. If you feel like they're not coming together, you can bring your knees slightly apart as well. Flex your feet for me, where you're pushing the floor, uh, sorry, pushing the ceiling away from you. Okay, inhaling here. Now place your upper body down and only lift your knees up. Can we do that? Push and down. Two, this is so good for your back health, guys, your posterior chain. Three, push the ceiling away. Don't let it collapse on you. Four, very nice. Five, there are a variety of things that we can do, but I want to stick to the basics so we can really master them before doing more complicated things, right? Just four more for me. Four. Beautiful. Three. And two. Now last one. Can you push and hold it there? Push and hold. Extend your legs. Lift your arms up. Salute out. Bring it back and drop all the way down. 
your upper body and your lower half okay lift up your upper half and your lower half again and salute for me can you let's go up salute bring it back down two up salute bring it back down i don't want you to look up i want you to focus on looking down three can you feel those movements down four good down five squeeze your glutes use your core to lift yourself up you're doing so good six salute beautiful guys seven balance coordinate lengthen think tall eight open bring it back down two more nine up open down last one 10 and up hold it right there for three two one go all the way down keep your arms extended go all the way down keep your nose into a hover position that's not dropping it or squishing your nose okay now from here lift yourself up just your upper body keeping your lower half down we're lifting up breast stroke or imagine you're cleaning the floor two three working on those postural muscles let's go four five lift your chest up six now i had a back injury which is why i can't lift up as much but i'm still doing my best reverse for six and that's what i'm expecting from all of you too right five lift up four three we're feeling those muscles two last one bring it back drop your forehead down sorry keep your nose hovering for a moment inhaling here exhale inhaling in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth fantastic i want you to extend your hands down by the sides to your shoulder level okay nose remain into a uh, nose remains in your hover position again you're going to lift your forehead chin chest and arms off the mat you're going to side bend for me imagine you're a helicopter you're trying to touch your heels back to the center to the other side lift up good now aren't you happy that we did that warm up so the body is a lot more loose and has a little give to give you right last one to the left come back to the center bring your palms down i want your chest so your palms to be parallel to your face shoulders and elbows are going to come into your nice little sphinx position take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth now i want you to just stay here to understand how your back is feeling right so your back is probably feeling a little annoyed a little irritated if that's the case please go ahead and sit down in child's pose if you have a history of back problems if not go ahead and stay right here okay now what is it that we need to have good posture for right while you're taking a little breather see good posture is so important for a variety of things okay so the first one i'm going to tell you is that because it helps you to move more effectively more efficiently right your small muscles that we tend to ignore most of the time so we're actually working on that extend one hand down other hand down breathe all right now i'll continue to tell you more importances of our posture go ahead lift your left arm forehead right leg off the mat opposite and gently drop can we switch to the other so opposites right arm forehead left leg down don't lift your core let's go switch 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 very nice beautiful switch and gently drop now from here i want you to lift your arms and your legs including your knees off the mat toes remain pointed inhaling here we lift now i want you to flap those arms and legs opposite up and down like you're swimming okay let's go 10 9 don't move the rest of your body just your arms and legs 5 4 3 2 
And one. Stop flapping. Hold it right there. Lift up a little bit more for six. Five. Four. Three. Stay. Two. Stay. One. Bring your hands back towards your thighs. Lift yourself up for another six. Five. Lift your chest up. Four. Three. You got this. Two. And one. Bring your palms by your face again. Lift yourself up and into your sphinx position. Fantastic. Very nice. Now, I was telling you about the importance of posture, right? Now, what's the second one, right? I already told you that it helps you move more efficiently. Now, before I tell you the next one, inhale. Bring your heel towards the glutes. Flex it. Exhale. Send it all the way back. Switch to the other side. Inhale. Flex. Send it back. Okay. Now, continue the movement as I continue to tell you about the importance of posture okay now we know it we said that it works more efficiently for the body the small muscles start to react very well now what's the second one you think what do you think where does your head go right so it also increases your range of motion and improves your muscle function which we all know is so important right range of motion it gives us so much relief our hips are tight our upper body is tight good I hope you guys are not collapsing your chest and lifting it up. Very nice, guys. Bring your left leg in, heel in, sorry. Hold it right there. Now you're pushing down with the floor. I want you to lift your knee, tap it out to the side, lift it up, bring it back in and extend. Can we do the same thing on the other side? Heel towards your glute, lift your knee, cross it out, lift it up, bring it back in extend if it's not happening no problem continue your single leg kick okay point lift cross lift bring it back last one that's it bring it in lift cross it out lift bring it in extend hold it right there fantastic now i want you to tuck your toes in everybody from here, inhale, I want you to push your chest up. We're looking towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin in. Start lifting your hips up and into your low plank hold. Holding this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop your knees, chin towards your chest, looking at your belly. And we're looking up. Keep your toes tucked in. Don't untuck chin towards your chest lift your chest up spine up knee up straighten up 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 drop your knees chin towards your chest good job beautiful bring your palms to the outside of the mat dropping all the way down towards the floor inhale lift your forehead chin and chest Look in front of you. Exhale. Push the floor away. Lift yourself up. Fantastic. Inhale. Drop just your elbows down. Exhale. Go all the way down. Inhale. Forehead, chin and chest. Look in front of you. Exhale. Push the floor away. And breathe. You're doing great. This is something called a swan prep lift. Okay. Going down with just the elbows first. And then going down all the way. Bring your hands by your chest. Lift your chest up. Bring your knees in. And into your all fours position. How are we feeling? Are we feeling strong? Awesome. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Beautiful. Now from here, I want you to extend your right leg behind. Okay. Take a deep breath in and as you're doing that, your right leg is going to go up towards the ceiling as your chest comes down towards the mat. You don't have to go as much as I do. Again, remember range of motion. So inhale, let's go down. Exhale, come on up. Beautiful. Two. And up. And three and up very nice one more okay four and up hold it right there bring your left leg sorry your right leg to the outside so in line with your left knee from here you're going to push your hips back and bring it all the way forward push back 
all the way forward lift your leg up bring it back and all the way in can we do the same thing on the other side let's go send your leg back getting ready for our push-up keep the body and your hips parallel to the mat inhale to go down exhale push up let your elbows go behind and not sideways two go as low as you can don't be afraid three exhale just don't fall on your face okay four up bring your left leg to the outside placing your foot down toes to point forward we're pushing back feel the inner thigh stretch forward and back and forward you know the last thing I'm going to tell you about why it's important to have a good posture send your leg back bring it in keep your toes tucked in inhale it's because you feel good right and if you feel good you look good and if you look good you feel confident and you can get whatever it is that you want and you set your mind to right here we go tuck our toes in take a deep breath in through the nose lift your knees up an inch off the ground send it back into your high plank holding this for 10 9 8 we're almost done 7 6 stay strong 5 push the floor away 2 1 walk your hands back towards your toes stay right there beautiful take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth inhale do a little self scan and send a lot of gratitude and love to your body as you push down with both heels and roll yourself up stacking your spine one vertebrae at a time take it easy this is the best flexion that your spine can receive after doing all that extension work right how are we feeling we feeling okay bring your hands by the side exhale give me another bear hug like how we started inhale to open drop your right hand down side bend back to the center side bend back exhale another bear hug hold it right there beautiful feel that flexion enjoy that three two one open up your hands as you inhale palms together above the head as you exhale in front of your chest and thank you we'll end your session here today fantastic job done everybody i hope this session truly brings awareness about to your posture and how it improves and does so much to you not just physically but emotionally as well right now remember to stand tall and be proud of yourself just like everyone used to always tell us now feel it from within okay now here's a little task for you how did you like today's session if you did and if you really tried to like something that that specifically made you feel so much better i want you to shoot a video of yourself doing one of your favorite movements from today's session and share it on our facebook community stronger together with cult fit life this is activate with pilates a two-week flow with me akriti make sure you come back for another session because we will talk all about our core amazing have an incredible day and i'll see you very soon bye